320 markers, y'all. What in the world? This is insane. Like I would literally zoom out more for you guys to just really see this, but I literally cannot. It is huge and the way my camera's set up, it's just kind of impossible to zoom out any more than what I have it at. But this just released today and I just wanted to go ahead and give you all a look at this 320 marker set. This is the Oahu line. I'm gonna pull one out and show you what's new. And there's not much that's new. Obviously there are more colors, so that's new. But I did notice a little bit of a difference in design with their markers now, specifically the Oahu line. So when I say Oahu, that just refers to the bullet nib and chisel nib type markers, where we've got the bullet nib right here, and then the chisel nib on the other side. And we've got this interesting little indentation here on both caps. I like it, adds a little bit of flair. On top of that, we now have more in-depth color labels. So this one says G190 Horizon Green. Previously on these sets, they were just numbers like 67, 89, 116, but now these are more specific, which I kind of like. And I also like how a color name is now assigned to them. And some of them are really interesting. We've got like Mionette or Mignonette. I I can't even say these ones. Anyways, and like, what else? Begonia, matter, red, cause y'all know matter is a word and not matter. I'm talking about mad -der. So that's interesting. Um, Jurassic gold. And then some of them are actually kind of funny. Like for instance, this is called uh, maroon and I kind of can't help but laugh because does that look maroon? No, it really doesn't. So. And that's not a dig at a hoo hoo. I just find it very um, interesting. There's also like another color called black brown and yeah, white. But again, not a dig. I just can't help but laugh at that. So the way these reviews usually work is I end up color swatching them. I end up seeing how well they blend. But in this review, I wanna keep it nice and short and sweet and just get right into the coloring. If I color swatched all these, this video would literally be a video dedicated to just color swatching these and ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> the cool thing is, is on the side over here, they do have color swatch sheets for you to fill out yourself, which is nice and convenient. So many, there you go. <laughs> And then of course the set comes with this little thin pad because as you all know, alcohol markers bleed through pretty much almost all types of papers. There are some papers that it won't bleed through, but more than likely you're probably gonna use a paper where it will bleed through. This is for your convenience so that it doesn't bleed through onto the next page. And then we got a cute little booklet, Ahuhu Art Markers, the Wahoo series. And it goes ahead and shows you all 320 colors and all the colors available in the Oahu series right here, as well as their own little color swatch that they do for you, which is pretty cool. So yeah, so this is the bag. It's huge. There's this tag here, just says Ohuhu Product Art Marker. And then I'm gonna zip it up. It's got this band right here so you can carry it, tote it around. My gosh, it's so heavy. <laughs> and then on the bottom, I don't know how new this is, but it says a hoo hoo art marker and their US importer, European importer, Japanese address, and then made in China. So let's get into coloring something. Ugh. So I've got my cute little witchy character here, drew her up specifically for these new markers. So I'm really excited to color her in. And yes, I know it's September, but honestly, spooky season started for me in like August, cause that's just the person I am. I even gave my nails a little special like spooky manicure. It's actually my first time getting like artsy fartsy with them and I like him. <laughs> All right, I went ahead and I picked out my color selection. Obviously this is just a fraction of what the set has, but obviously I'm not gonna go crazy. When doing a piece, it's always good to like stick to kind of a limited color selection. Otherwise you're gonna get a lot of clashiness going on. But for those interested, I will be coming out with a video soon where I'll be taking every single color in this 320 pack and using it in a single image. It's either gonna be amazing or an absolute mess. And I'm sure a lot of you are wondering if the Hoo Hoo is going to come out with the brush marker set with this many colors. 
I absolutely do not know, but I feel like one could make a pretty educated guess and say most likely there would be no reason why they really wouldn't. But obviously I have no confirmation on that. I'm just assuming. But for those interested in having more colors, this is a great set to have in my opinion, if that's what you're looking for. Especially since even if Ahuhu were to come out with the brush marker set in tons more colors, there's no telling when that will be released or anything like that. So I'm not saying it's going to be a long time from now, but I wouldn't expect it for at least a few more months, perhaps. Again, just speculation. <laughs> And of course, for transparency reasons, Ahuhu did send me this pack in exchange for an honest review. I might have gone a little too orange for her skin tone, but I'm not too worried because I know that adding purple can kind of take off the edge of that orange vibrancy. At least I hope. Stay tuned. Let's see if this is salvageable. And you know, you'd think out of a pack of 320 colors, I'd be able to choose much better skin tone colors, but I'm a mess. I apologize in advance. Okay, I just ran a purple over it and it kind of calmed that orange down, which is good. That's what I wanted. I did get a little nervous because I wasn't sure how well my colors were mixing, but I think it's turning out really good. Kind of defeats the purpose of having a pack of ahuhus of so many different colors, like I said before. But again, this is user error and not ahuhu. <laughs> At the same time, I really hope this helps you all out if you face the same issues. Okay, we can finally move on to her clothing because I feel like her skin is done. I feel like it should have gone more so with orange and black to fit that Halloween theme, but I don't think that's a big deal. Not everything has to be obviously Halloween during Halloween season. Oh, and also pricing, of course. Ahuhu has them on their website, ahuhu.com for $169.99 and that's US pricing for those interested. I'm not entirely sure what it is in pounds or euros, etc. And I'm pretty sure that's the price on amazon.com as well for those who exclusively buy their products on Amazon. I actually went to check the listing and it doesn't seem to be quite up yet, but I'm sure by the time I release this video, it will be. And also for those intimidated by the price, if you break that down, $169.99 divided by 320 markers comes out to about 53 cents per marker, which of course is an amazing price. Ahuhu themselves say it's like one tenth of the price of Copic. Pricing for Copics tend to range. Copic sketches tend to be about anywhere from four to $8 per marker, but usually that $8 pricing is kind of like the price you would find if you went to your local Michaels or your local Hobby Lobby. Online stores tend to have them cheaper. And also the Copic Chows are much cheaper coming in at like two to $3 per marker. And it's still the same sort of ink and nibs, I assume. And I'm adding in this blue skirt to pretty much balance out all the orange and pink with some cool colors. And I'm kind of doing a blending where I'm using a bit of a darker blue on top and going to a lighter blue towards the bottom. And usually when I blend, I use my chisel nibs just because they can deposit a lot more ink, which helps with the blending process. So I'm just doing this dark blue and then switching over to the chisel nib of my lighter blue and just going right on top over the edge over here until I get it to blend out. There we go. And then finally her sword. Although I have to do her eyes still. I didn't forget about that, just haven't gotten to it yet. In other words, I forgot. And then now finally her eyes. I kind of wish I shaded the hat in with blue rather than gray, mostly because the gray seems to just really pop out and not really in the way that I would want it to, but no going back now. So it is what it is. And now I'm going to attempt a background. Something simplistic, of course. I'm not going crazy all out. Is this even an even circle? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. I freehanded it, so that's probably the biggest issue. <laughs> okay, well, in my attempt to correct it, I'm just making it worse and more like lopsided. And in my attempt to add highlights to her nose, I messed it up. <laughs> Ugh. Story of my life though. So right now I'm just trying to add a bit of shading to fix it, which kind of sucks because I feel like it makes her nose look a little bit more dramatic in comparison with the rest of her face, especially when things were perfect as is, but what you gonna do? 
All right, and sometimes you just gotta let it go. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it done because if I keep on trying to fix my mistake on the highlight of her nose, it's just gonna get worse and worse. I've had that happen so many times in the past. So sometimes you just gotta let go, you know? I'm really impressed with this marker set. I am still just in awe of how many markers there are. I never thought that they would come out with a 320 pack, but here we are. And the cool thing is, is they've shared with me a discount code, which you can find below in the description. The claim code is 320 early bird and is available now September 26, 2021 until September 28th, 2021. And I hope you all enjoyed the video. And of course, if you did leave a comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks everyone. Everyone.